Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to talk measurement. Converting units. There are two main systems of measurement. Customary units used mainly in the United States and metric units basically used by the rest of the world. When converting units there are several things that we need to take into consideration. In mathematics, converting means to change a value or expression from one form to another. In measurement, converting means to change from one unit to another, such as from milliliters to liters or from inches to yards. There are two methods that can be used to convert between units. In this video, we will focus on converting using the metric system. When converting between the metric units of length, mass, and capacity, you can divide or multiply or you can use the KHD UDCM method, otherwise known as the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method. When moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we must divide. When moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we must multiply. Let's look at the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method for converting metric units. When using this method for converting length, mass, and capacity, it is very easy. Why? Because the metric units are made up on principles of powers of 10. So, instead of multiplying or dividing by a bunch of crazy numbers, we only have to move decimals to the left or right and sometimes add a few zeros. This is the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method. King stands for kilo. Henry represents hecto. Doesn't represents deca. Usually, represents our units and that could be the base unit, meter, liter, or gram. Drink represents deca. Chocolate represents centi and milk represents milli. Now, let me show you how to use this method to convert between metric units. Let's say we want to convert 900 meters into kilometers. Because both of these are metric units, we can use the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method. In using this method, we begin with what we know. We know the number 900. 900 is represented by the word meters. Meters in this acronym is identified by the letter U. We want to move from meters and we want to move to kilometers. So that means that we must move from U to K. In moving from U to K, we moved one, two, three spaces to the left. So, looking at the number 900, we move our decimal point three spaces to the left. In our whole number, the decimal point is found at the back of the number. If we move it one, two, three spaces to the left, our decimal point is now in the front of the number 900. That changes the number completely. Our number is now 900 
thousands. Let's take a look at what that looks like in word form as well as as a fraction. Let's look at another example. The average African elephant eats 155,295 grams of food per day. How many milligrams of food is this? We want to convert or find out how many grams we have in milligrams. To do this, we use the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method. We begin by writing down the number that we know, 155,295. This is represented by grams, which is represented by the U in our acronym. We want to move from grams to milligrams. We must move to the right one, two, three spaces. So, looking at our number, we must move the decimal point three spaces to the right. In a whole number, the decimal point is found at the back of the number. If we move the decimal point one, two, three spaces to the right, we can see that there are some empty spaces. When we have empty spaces, we place zeros to fill the space. One, two, three zeros. So, my decimal point is now found at the back of the third zero. That changes my number completely. My number is now 155,295,000. Now, there is another method that we can use. We can also use the divide or multiply method. In using this method, we must make sure that we know the basic metric unit facts. Let's take a look at the basic metric facts for length, mass, capacity, and time. We must make sure that we know these facts when we want to convert using the divide or multiply method. Let's try converting using this method. Using the divide or multiply method, we have to also remember that if we're moving from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. If we're moving from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we divide. So let's try to convert 3 kilograms into grams using this method. Here, we want to move from kilograms to grams. That's moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So that means that we must multiply. We are multiplying 3 by, hmm, what are we multiplying 3 by? Well, this is why it's important for you to know the basic metric facts. Here, the basic metric facts for mass are very important. Based on the facts, I can see that this piece of information is going to help me solve this problem. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So I multiply my 3 by 1,000. When I do that, I should get the product 3,000. 3 kilograms into grams is equal to 3 
thousand. Let's try another one. Hmm. I don't know how many kilometers, but I do know that I have ninety-nine thousand three hundred forty-five meters. How many kilometers is that? Well, to begin converting, I must write out my problem. I need to now figure out whether I need to multiply or divide based on if I'm moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit or a larger unit to a smaller unit. Here, I know meters, so I'm moving from meters, what I know, to kilometers, what I don't know. That means I'm moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit, and so I must divide. I'm dividing 99,345. But what am I dividing that by? Well, this is why it's important for you to know your metric unit facts. Based on the metric unit facts, I know that 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. So, I'm dividing 99,345 by 1,000. And when I do that, I'm going to get 99 and 345 thousandths. There are two ways that I could have solved that equation. I could have done long division or I could use the pattern of multiplying and dividing strategy by 10, 100, or 1,000 and move my decimal point three spaces to the left. How do I know I'm moving to the left three spaces? Well, remember, when we talked about the patterns for dividing and multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000, the zeros in our number tell us how many times we have to move. In this case, there are three zeros, so I'm moving my decimal point three spaces to the left. My decimal point moves from behind the five to in between the nine and three. Changing my number completely and giving me now 99 and 345 thousandths. This means that 99 and 345 thousandths kilometers is equal to 99,345 meters. Remember, boys and girls, there are two methods that can be used to convert between metric units. You can use the King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk method or the multiplying and dividing method. When using this method, we must remember that when moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. And when moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.